If you watched the third part of our camera tutorial and thought there's got to be an easier way of doing jibs, then you're in luck because that's what we're talking about today. Hey guys, Mike Miller from Trium Visual here, and today we're going to take a quick look at a couple of enhancements to the jib rig that we worked on in Essential Hit Film Episode 14, Cameras Part 3. We're going to look at two variations on how to rig the jib, one of which was inspired by a trick that Hit Film Sensei came up with, and the link to his video will be in the description so you can see how he built his enhancement. Uh, what I'm going to show is a variation on what Jay came up with. And the other variation we're going to look at is something that takes advantage of one of the new features in HitFilm Pro for 2018. We'll take a look at Jay's method first. Jay's method works in all versions of HitFilm from 4 up. And we're looking at the same rig that we were looking at in Cameras Part 3. And I've got my skeleton rig set up. So the base of this blue line is the jib's move point. And then the top of this blue line is the jib Y pan and X tilt points. Up here we have the counterbalance, followed by the camera's tripod heads, and then the actual camera itself, represented by this 3D model of the Canon DSLR. And what we're going to talk about today is the counterbalance point. For full details on how to set up the jib rig, I'm going to refer you back to Essential Hit Film 14 because I already covered it there. But the main thing about this counterbalance point is that we manually keyframed it to be the inverse of the jib's X tilt point. So this red line represents the direction that the camera is looking, and here's the camera. And what happened with the jib X tilt point is when we would tilt the jib arm up and down the camera would keep pointing in the same straight direction. So the counterbalance point had to be animated to move in the opposite direction of this point. And so of the methods to get around that, this is a variation of what Jay came up with. And I'm going to create a new point. And I'm going to rename this Focus Point. I'm going to make this a 3D point. And for now, I'm going to parent it to the jib Y pan. I'll open up the transform properties and change its position settings to zero, zero. And then this Z value, I'm going to set to a ridiculously high number. In this case, I'm going to make it negative 100 million. And before I continue with this, I'm going to right click on my camera layer and I'm going to select Properties. Note these clipping controls. The near clip distance is set to one pixel, and what the near clip distance is, is the closest objects to the camera that will be rendered. Any object closer than one pixel to the camera will not actually be rendered. The far clip distance is 100,000 units, and 100,000 units is about as far as a hit film camera can see. So if I try to change this to 200,000, I can't. I'm hitting the zero key and it's stopping at 20,000. If I try 110,000, I still can't do that. If I try 101,000, I still can't do that. So 100,000 pixels is the maximum distance that HitFilm's camera can see. And by placing the focus point 100 million pixels away, I've placed the focus point 1,000 times farther out in space than the camera itself can see. I'm going to go ahead and leave this parented to the jib Y pan point, but I'll go ahead and drag that down just above the counterbalance. I'm going to select the counterbalance point, move over to its layers properties, and come to this alignment toggle. Auto alignment was discussed back in our series on animating everything, and it will be covered again when we get to Cameras Part 4. This is Cameras 3.5. But Jay's trick was to set a focus point way far off in the distance and then tell the camera to align to that focus point. And that works 
pretty well. But by having the camera aligned to the focus point, it meant that when Jay would rotate his jib on the Y pan, the camera continued to rotate to follow that focus point, which isn't necessarily what we want. So what we need to do is come to the counterbalance layer, open up its layer properties, twirl open its alignment settings, and set that to toward layer. And then we will set the alignment layer to the focus point. And now if we grab the jib X tilt point and raise and lower the camera, the camera automatically levels out. I'll turn off the observation camera and I'll turn off the 3D model for a moment. And I'll come back to the jib X tilt point and I'll rotate that on the X axis. So as we raise and lower the camera, we can see that it's remaining more or less level. I say more or less because there will be a little bit of tilt on the camera, but since the focus point is 100 million units off and the camera can only see 100,000 units, any parallax or tilting caused by the counterbalance head auto aligning to that focus point is going to be negligible. It can be ignored. Again, I encourage you to check out HitFilm Sensei's video. The link will be in the description. He set his up a little bit differently. You get a slightly different effect with his rig than this. I'll go back to my observation camera and I'll turn on my little model again. I'll select the jib Y pan point, And when I rotate the jib Y pan point, the camera itself remains level on the jib. This is why we've parented the focus point to the jib Y pan point. It keeps the focus point far off in the distance wherever the jib is more or less facing. This method of automating the counterbalance, again, will work in all versions of HitFilm from 4 on. And now here's a bonus refinement to the jib. This works only for people using the most recent version of HitFilm, HitFilm Pro 4 2018. I'm going to delete the focus point. We don't need that. I'll check my jib Y pan just to make certain that its rotation is zeroed out. I'll check my jib X tilt, make certain its rotation is zeroed out. And I'm going to return to the counterbalance point and set its alignment to none. We'll come over to the effects panel and open up this new behaviors folder. These behaviors are new for HitFilm Pro 2018 and later. Right now, we only have mix parent position and rotate by layer. I'm certain certain more will be added later. Rotate by layer is what we want. We'll grab rotate by layer and drag this into the behaviors position of the counterbalance layer. Open up rotate by layer, set rotate by layer to the jib X tilt point, and then set rotation X amount to negative 100. So setting this jib X tilt rotation amount to negative 100% effectively automates the inverse keyframing we were doing in Essential Hit Film 14. So if I come to the jib X tilt point and rotate that on the X axis, once again, you can see that our camera is automatically tilting to remain level with the ground. If you're using HitFilm Express 2017 or HitFilm 4 or 2017 Pro, then the focus point off in the distance is a great way to auto level your jib. If you're working in HitFilm Pro 2018, then you can use the behaviors to automate the inverse rotation. Either way, we've just removed an entire point's worth of keyframing. This will make it easier to set up jibs in the future. Once again, I'd like to thank Jay Haynes, the HitFilm Sensei, for coming up with his method that I've adapted and refined into what I've just shown you. I never thought of using a focus point in that way. That was a very clever thing Jay did. Using the new behaviors on the counterbalance was something I knew I was going to do, and I've been planning this short little tutorial for a while. But thanks to HitFilm Sensei, this tutorial became useful not just to the HitFilm Pro 2018 users, but to a lot more people. 
and again, it just makes these jib rigs easier to set up and animate. So one more big thank you to Jay Haynes, the HitFilm Sensei. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I hope you come up with some great cinematic jib camera movements. I'm Mike Miller for Tri-M Visual. I'll see you next time. Thank you.